It's been seven years since I started my photography journey. It's been a really fun experience. However, in the past couple years, I kind of have a problem. I am heading into the dead end where I have no passions towards photography at all and I just feel like everything is really stressful. It just makes me seeing the photo and just feel nothing towards it. I think is this the time to just change something a little bit to just freshen up my photography stuff. My name is Tony. I am a photographer from Thailand, currently based in Washington, United States. This video is not going to be a review about my new camera, but it is going to be the video that just talk about how I like this camera and how I may potentially coping with this situation. So to begin with, I recently purchased the Fujifilm X100S. This is a camera that's been all over TikTok and people just keep talking how amazing it was. The internet didn't influence me to buy this camera, but because of my passion towards photography and I just want to try something different without pulling a lot of money out of my pocket. So I just started with this guy. There are three things that I'm looking for this camera. Aesthetic, ergonomic, and quality of the image that this camera can produce. When it comes to aesthetic, it's really beautiful. It looks like an old film camera. And when you go out on the street, nobody's really care about why you take photo of them because they just thought it was just a cheap camera and you're not gonna take it serious. They're just thinking like that. I think this is a really good opportunity to take a street photo. The ergonomic, the design, the placement of the button and everything in this camera. I would say I can operate my camera only using the right hand. The flash, the autofocus, even like changing the film simulation, which is with the button, the function button right here. Just like the um, Sony A7 line, you can change the setting, like what it's supposed to be used for. For the factory default, I assume it is setting for the ISO, but I changed into the film simulation. The quality that this camera produced, I really like the file, even though it's only 16 megapixel, but with the APS-C sensor, it gives a little room for me to edit photo in the raw file. Um, even though I can just use the JPEG file out of this camera, I don't have to put on any program. But if I feel like I want to edit it, it still works. I can do some editing on that. Not as much, but still I can do it. This camera may potentially save me from losing all my interest towards photography. I really want to improve myself to be more outgoing and just, you know, going out and take photo, enjoy the view and just see different stuff. I really like taking photo, but when I have a big camera system, you know, the full frame, like the one I'm using to record right now, which is the Sony a7 Mark II, I don't, I like the camera itself. I like the dynamic range. I like the full frame feature, but I don't really like to carry the big camera just to take photo of people randomly on the street. So this guy will help me a lot, building a little bit of my confidence. I own this camera just about a week, but I went out and take some photo every single day. And I see myself that I am involved into that kind of situation where I have to talk with people a lot and nobody's really care much about how I take photo or how I approach to them. They just smile at me and just sometimes compliment it to me like, oh, that is a really awesome camera. So it gives, more, it gives me more room to start to take photo and feel comfortable while framing the people in the camera. It is really fun to just walk around with myself and not to worry much about my camera bags or my lenses to be stolen or things like that. I just go with this guy in my pocket. I'll share with you guys later, but this is how I feel towards this camera. And I'll see you again in my review next month. Yeah, have a nice day, guys.